Hey guys, how's it going? I just got off work and I feel compelled to make this video. And uh, so, I'm a pretty big wrestling fan. I've always been a big fan. And lately, you know, I don't always get to watch it a lot. Uh, you know, I, I read about it, what's going on and stuff. And so, tonight's Monday. It was Monday Night Raw. It's a show. The WWE World Wrestling Entertainment's had Monday Night Raw in USA for a long time. And uh, it's, you know, their main show once a week and anyways uh, their champion um, Roman Reigns announced tonight that he has leukemia for a second time and I'll read this article that goes over what happened and I haven't seen it but I'll probably watch it tomorrow and so this is you know not a fake story you know everybody knows that wrestling's fake right but uh, I find it entertaining regardless but uh, this is a very real matter, and so uh, Roman Reigns isn't his real name, but whatever his name is, I think he says Joe or something. And apparently he had an emotional speech, and uh, you know, I'm always kind of a sucker for these things in wrestling, whether it's real or not. The storylines sometimes have got me emotional in the past, you know, when wrestlers retire or whatever, the death of certain wrestlers or, you know, uh, things like this. This is really unfortunate, and... So, uh, I'll read the article here on eWrestlingNews.com. At the opening of tonight's Raw, Roman Reigns announced his leukemia had resurfaced after being originally diagnosed 11 years ago. Roman said he will vacate the championship and focus on his health and family. He said it's by no means a retirement speech, but he will return after kicking leukemia's ass for a second time. Fans chanted, thank you, Roman. As the cameras picked up some crying, Rollins and Ambrose united the shield, and they were visibly upset. And these guys are part of a group, all three of these guys, uh, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns. They make up the shield. And Rollins, okay. Whether you love him or hate him, Roman is thankful to the fans for making his dream come true. And, uh... He had a lot of support. Um, let's see. Evidence. In the opening moments of Raw, Roman Reigns emerged to announce that he had been living with leukemia for 11 years and the disease's return would force him to relinquish the United States Championship and take a leave of absence from WWE. Dressed in street clothes, the big dog mingled briefly with fans at ringside before dropping the persona of Roman Reigns to address the WWE Universe as Joe and detail his history of living with leukemia. In an emotional but optimistic address, Reigns recounted his initial diagnosis and remission in late 2008 and thanked the WWE Universe for making his dreams come true. He said he was going to go home and focus on his family and health, but made one thing clear on the way out. This is a retirement speech. Speaking of the faith that had been through his life, Reigns promised the WWE Universe that he would return to swing for the fences, that whatever curveballs life threw him, with the final sign-off before a tearful embrace with the shield atop the ramp, I will beat this, I will be back, so you will see me very, very soon. And so, it's interesting that he spoke of a faith that you know, helped him get through it in the past. He knows what the faith is, regardless, uh, you know, this Roman's a human being, and uh, he is a celebrity, and usually I don't think that we think of praying for celebrities. It doesn't always, you know, occur to me. We read about stuff they go through all the time in the news, and um, maybe think, you know, they have it all, and they, they don't need prayers from us or whatever, but, you know, we should pray for them and think about them, pray for their families, and, um, you know, one of uh, this guy's, I don't know why I keep getting these updates, but one of this guy's nicknames is the Big Dog, as I read. You know, we all know who the real Big Dog is, the Big Dog in the Sky, right, God? And, um, so, we should pray for Roman, uh, or Joe, whatever, I'll just call him Roman, because that's how I know him. But, um, and he's a very polarizing character on TV, you know, his character that he portrays, because a lot of people have taken him to be, you know, the chosen one from, you know, the boss, 
of the company has basically forced him down people's throats, so to speak, and uh, trying to make people cheer for him, and that's made people boo for him more. But, you know, a lot of people like him. I've always liked him. I think he's a good wrestler. He's very entertaining. But I can see why people... He always comes out on top and stuff. So, anyways... Um... You know, I just want to say a prayer for him, just something really basic, and, um, you know, for anybody who's watching this for the first time, I'm a Christian, you know, I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, he died for our sins, and, uh, he was crucified, he rose again, and Jesus said whoever believes in him will have eternal life, and, uh, you know, Jesus had a lot to say about prayer, and, you know, whatever we ask in his name will be granted, and I do believe that God hears prayer, and um, prayer should be a very active part in a Christian's life, and uh, we should always think of others and pray for others, whether they're saved or not, um, you know, and if the Lord puts it on your heart to pray for somebody, then do it, and, um, and if Roman Reigns doesn't know the Lord Jesus, then I pray that he finds him, and, you know, there has been a lot of wrestlers and celebrities and, and musicians singers and stuff in general that have found the Lord and there's you know some of the wrestlers like Shawn Michaels and Sting you know they came out and said that they're Christians they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ whether you believe that their faith is genuine or not you know they they do profess it and um, but we know that God is real and he hears prayers and, and answers prayers so I'm just gonna go ahead and pray for Roman Reigns dear God you know the situation and uh, you've laid it on my heart to pray for this man. And I pray that many others out there will think of him and their prayers. But just help him to beat this cancer, Lord, and uh, to get through this time. And, and I pray that, that he'll seek you out and find you, Lord, if he doesn't already have a relationship with you. And I pray that you bless his family. Um, it's going to be rough for them. And... Uh, Lord, I just pray that your hand is over him and his family and help him to recover soon and to beat this, God. We know that uh, you heal and we know that miracle. And so let's want to pray for a miracle, God, that you know, he'll beat this thing in no time <clears throat> and be better and stronger. And, um, and, and hopefully I pray that, you know, he recognizes it when things get better for him. That, that it is a miracle and, and gives you all the glory, God, and everything. And I just pray that, uh, just thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So that's that. And uh, be thinking about him and, and the updates. You might not hear about this for a while, but hopefully he'll come out of it. So it's very sad. And I know people in my family that have died of cancer and, uh, you know, friends, people that I've known in life that have it. So, anyways, thanks for watching this, guys, and God bless.